world. There's a lot of heterogeneity uh, in the molecular landscape of prostate cancer. And more specifically, uh, we've been able to see that there are actually distinct molecular subtypes of prostate cancer that we can break the disease up into. Um, one of these molecular subtypes is characterized by mutations in a gene called SBOP. And the SBOP gene acts as a ubiquitin ligase. It targets other proteins for degradation. And about 10 to 15 percent of prostate cancers have mutations in this gene. Uh, that means that with an estimated 230,000 new cases in the U.S. this year, about 25,000 men will have SPOT mutant prostate cancer. So it's a major public health issue. Um, the SPOT mutant cancers uh, look considerably different than other types of prostate cancers at the molecular level. Um, they have very distinct patterns of genomic alterations, uh, very distinct patterns of gene expression, very distinct patterns of methylation. And really that implies that they're going to have very distinct biology. Um, and more than that, it implies that maybe they're going to respond differently to medications for patients that have that. And so we looked a little deeper into that subclass and we found that not only are they different in uh, the molecular ways I mentioned, they also have uh, more breaks and rearrangements in their DNA, which are genomic rearrangements. Uh, and that implied that they might have a fundamental problem in dealing with DNA breaks. And so uh, my lab sort of drilled down on that, uh, that idea and tested that idea in our preclinical models. And we were able to show that the mutations in the SPOP gene actually compromise the ability of prostate cells to repair their DNA. Um, and the implications of that are important clinically because uh, cells that have trouble repairing their DNA may be susceptible to certain kinds of DNA damaging therapy. And so we tested that idea again in our preclinical models and we are actually able to show that, that the SPOP mutant cancers uh, that had trouble repairing their DNA were selectively sensitive to specific DNA damaging therapeutic agents.